She had on white shorts. What do you think I said? Come on. All right, we are back with another Drive Across 65. Uh, season one, episode 14. Going to recap the Thursday night game, uh, Chiefs Chargers. A uh, little NFL, a little college football preview. If you're following along YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you get to watch the uh, Florida State Louisville game with me. Um, we took Louisville first half, Louisville for the game. That is the correct pronunciation of Louisville. Um, they got sick jerseys on. Makes me even more confident in this game. All right, uh, Thursday night game. Chargers, Chiefs. Uh, Chargers covered. Definitely, definitely should have won. Uh, if it felt like a win, um, if I'm Brandon Staley, I'm definitely going into the locker room and saying, Hey, you guys won, we lost the game. Um, Eckler was a bad play, we'll get into the stats about that uh, in a second. Um, Sony Michelle Vulture, what a vulture! Uh, so we'll dive right into the, to the Eckler stat first. Um, so this is what we learned, uh. Eckler accounted for 73% of the carries inside the five yard line uh, last year. Um, Sony Michelle got the only one. Uh, so it felt like the right play, it was the right read. Uh, didn't work out. Inside the five yard line, throwing the ball, pick 99. We'll get into all of that. Run the ball, Pete Carroll. I mean, I know you're Brandon Staley, but run the ball, Pete Carroll. All right, so Chargers covered. Uh, we were all over them. Uh, the Eckler prop lost, uh, minus 130. We learned from that. Uh, he still will get his, but obviously, Sonny Michelle is going to get the carries uh, inside the five. So we have to um, account for that from here on out. Um, it was a great pick for three quarters, for sure. No sweat. Um, the pick 99, asinine play, should have never happened. Um, take it from Pete Carroll, from Marshawn Lynch, um, from Wilson now. If you're inside the five, run the ball. Just run the ball. Why are you throwing? And it's completely on the coaching staff, too. Like I said, Staley needs to go into that locker room and say, hey, hand up. We lost that game. Because the coaching staff, the mistakes they made, uh, Staley being way, way too conservative, um, I understand he has a defense now and he doesn't have to go for it on all these fourth downs. What just happened? Oh no. It's not great for our local pick. Um, uh, so those of you not watching, um, uh, Florida State's already out and running. All right, so Staley's got to go in the locker room, say yada yada, that's on us. Uh, not sub in on the goal line uh, when your player's calling for a sub, he's exhausted, you're gonna throw to him, that was crazy. Uh, Herbert needs to get out and get mobile more. Uh, Staley needs to be less conservative, go for it a little bit more on fourth down. Like I said, I know he has a defense now and he can rely on them, but you still you still have Herbert, you still have action. You're still playing against the Chiefs. You still have to score points. You can't just keep kicking field goals. Proof is in the pudding there. Um, but we covered, uh, so win's a win. Uh, Justin Herbert, um, Stop me if you heard this before. There is a quarterback um, playing for the Chargers who injured their ribs, and um, nobody knows what's going to happen. P apparently, they're fractured, not broken. Uh, he's day to day. Um, bright side, if you're a Texans fan, uh, he might end up being your quarterback <laughs> from here on out. Bad joke. Terod Taylor almost died uh, getting that shot, um, punctured his lungs when he played for the Chargers, end up being quarterback for the Texans. Um, really hope that doesn't happen to Herbert. Um, so we're gonna get into the NFL, um, NCAA football picks. Uh, we do have a UFC pick. Um, so I've gathered all my UFC big brains. And what is going on in this game? Florida State's already just walking. They, we, bet them, we bet them because they were coming off a bye week and rest does not make rest. Um, all right, UFC, um, we have a network of UFC guys. Uh, we are going to go with the favorite, uh, Corey Sandhagen. Um, 
everybody's telling me he's he's a striker. He's got good submissions. He's fast. Um, all kinds of good notes on this guy. He uh, he was the first person to knock out uh, Frankie Edgar. Um, he's just a monster. So he's lost three times uh, in UFC, uh, either to a future champ, a former champ, uh, or fighting for a championship. He's lost three fights. Uh, he's minus 200. We're going to back him. Um, good luck, everybody. So we're going to do the old school uh, rip through all the picks and then talk about them afterwards. Uh, first off, we have Syracuse at home uh, to pick against Purdue. Uh, Michigan at home, first quarter, minus 10 and a half against UConn. Uh, Western Kentucky, plus three and a half, uh, first half at Indiana. Um, Ole Miss, Georgia Tech, under 62 and a half. Uh, Nebraska plus six and a half first half against Oklahoma. I'm going to dive so far into that game. Uh, Scott Frost should have been the uh, story that we're not going to talk about, but we're going to talk about game um, or story last week. Uh, we'll talk about that. And uh, University of Texas, San Antonio um, at Texas plus 12. Um, I like that one a lot too. So we're going to start with Syracuse and Purdue. Um, it's a pick, which is weird. So we like Syracuse. Uh, we talked about them giving teams trouble, uh, during our preseason, um, over under picks. Uh, we did not know that they were going to be this good though. Uh, Purdue going in there, they're going to throw the ball. Um, Brown's going to have them ready to throw. Syracuse is good. I mean, they're good. They're going to be at home. All of the public is on Syracuse. Uh, by the time this comes out, it might be minus one, minus one and a half, um, which makes me hate the game. But we're going to back Syracuse um, until further notice. Uh, Michigan, first quarter, again. Uh, so the line is 47 and a half against UConn. Um, they're breaking it down into quarters, uh, and we're getting them at uh, 10 and a half, first half. Um, UConn hasn't scored in the first quarter at all this season, not once. So, um, I mean, we're going to ride that Michigan first quarter train uh, as long as they're playing a non-conference games and their schedule is soft. Uh, Western Kentucky plus three and a half first half at Indiana. I know we got beat uh, first half with Illinois going to Indiana on that bogus uh, no touchdown call. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. Um, Indiana in the weather element game. They just squeaked by a really bad Idaho team. Um, I like WKU to cover the game also. Um, I just like more that Indiana comes out flat. Um, I like the over 62 um, on top. 62 is gonna be a lot. Um, I like it. We're not gonna put it on the card. Food for thought. Uh, Ole Miss, Georgia Tech. Um, I never thought I would bet Georgia Tech uh, twice this season. Never, never thought. Um, but we're going to take the under in this game. Uh, we saw Georgia Tech against was probably a bad Clemson team. Um, their defense was pretty solid. Uh, it, that, that game ended 41 to 10. I think they had 51 points in that game. Uh, garbage time touchdown by Clemson to get their uh, young backup quarterback some action. Um, I like the under there. Um, so, you know, we're going to go Texas San Antonio first, uh, and then we'll talk about the Nebraska Oklahoma game because there's a lot to dive into with that one. Uh, University of Texas San Antonio is a covering machine. Um, they just beat Army. They lost in triple overtime uh, to Houston. Texas coming off a super emotional game against Alabama. Uh, not to say that Texas isn't back. They might be back. Uh, they are starting their backup quarterback. Uh, you're giving UTSA 12 points. Uh, In-state game, obviously Texas is going to have the crowd, but nevertheless, it's in-state game. Uh, back quarterback was a starter last year. We get it. He's he's not awful, but uh, he's still not their starter, and he won't be their starter um, if Quinn Ewers come back, comes back. Uh, yeah. UTSA plus the points. Uh, Florida State's up seven nothing. <laughs> Scored in the first drive. This this might be a bloodbath. This might be this might be awful. 
Uh, so the story um, about Nebraska's interim head coach, obviously Frost just got fired. Um, he lost us some money, so good riddance. Never want to see anybody get fired, but good riddance. Uh, so the story about Mickey Joseph playing at Nebraska, playing for Nebraska, uh, was a quarterback for Nebraska back in the early 90s, uh, was playing Oklahoma, was sitting on the bench, uh, a play went absolutely berserk. Uh, he got trucked on the bench. Defense was on the field. He's a quarterback. Ended up with his leg broke and ended his career. Ended the season, ended his career. Um, and he's their new interim head coach for Nebraska. Coming off, the head coach getting fired against Oklahoma. Um, at home, getting points. I mean, you can't script this anymore. Um, you absolutely, you got to take Nebraska for the game, right? I mean, they're going to make a movie about this. Uh, Denzel is probably going to play the part. Uh, he's, you know. Nevertheless, we're only going to bet Nebraska plus six and a half first half. I think they come out absolutely scorching. Uh, new team, who dis? Uh, Nebraska plus six and a half first half against Oklahoma. Um, Oklahoma's not bad. They're number six for a reason. Uh, if I were them, I would run the score up as much as I could, but that's for the second half. We're going to go Nebraska. Um, and that story, that, that bookmark this one, guys. It's going to be a movie about this guy getting his leg broke. It's going to have a flashback. He's going to be sitting on the bench. He's going to go to the hospital. He's going to be up in the cast, some young kid. And then it's going to flash forward to a practice and he's the interim head coach or he's, you know, back. Anyways, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be, it's going to be a great movie. Uh, I already have it written in my head. Let's jump to the NFL. Uh, gross slate in the NFL. Don't love it. Uh, again, we're going to rip through them and um, come back and talk about them. Jets, Browns, under 39 and a half. Texans Broncos under 46. Texans are still the Dunder still on out of it. Uh, Raiders minus five and a half against the Cardinals. Lions money line at home against the Commanders. Gross. Um, Rams Falcons over 46 and a half. And Vikings plus two at Philly. Um, so dive right into it. The Jets Browns. <laughs> the Jets are going to rely on 200 year old. Joe Flacco to light up the scoreboard, uh, throw 50, 60 passes. I don't think so. Um, he's just, he's too old. He signed up to be a backup, not to be a starter. Uh, you might, he might have been able to get you those points 10 years ago with a good defense, whatever. He's not now. Um, and obviously the Browns, they're not going to score a ton of points. That's already proven to like the under there. Uh, like I said, the Texans under is on auto bet. Um, the under hit even through overtime uh, last week against the Colts. Uh, the Broncos defense is who we thought that they were. It is going to be in Denver. There's going to be zero oxygen. Everybody's going to be gassed. Uh, Russ will probably cook, but nevertheless, uh, we're going to rely on the Denver defense um, to slow the Texans down. Not that they need any help, but um, take that in that game. Raiders minus five and a half at home uh, against the Cardinals. Uh, Raiders coming off a brutal loss. Um, the Cardinals stink. They're coming off a brutal loss too, but they're coming off a pancake. And they stink. They're bad. They are not good. Uh, and we're going to be betting against them as much as they'll let us for the rest of the year. Um, love the Raiders at home minus five and a half. Uh, Kyle, Murray, Kyle Murray's going to be in halftime playing a video game or something. In the game of all the disgustingness, disgustingness, give me the lines at home. Give me Dan Campbell. Come on, man. Come on, man. Hey, I love you, brother. Love you, man. Hey, let's do it for us, man. Come on, man. With a big old dip in his mouth. Give me Dan Campbell at home. Um, this is a bad game. Commander suck. Lions suck. We're just going back to lines. Um, I made myself pick an over. Um, didn't want to. I hate betting unders, though. Made myself pick an over. Rams, um, 
Falcons over. Uh, apparently, Marcus Mariota and uh, Arthur Smith, the chemistry is still there. They put up a ton of points. Zero of which to Kyle Pitts, man. It's like he didn't even play in the game. Uh, but they're scoring points. Uh, the Rams defense is so-so. The Rams are going to score points too. I hate betting unders. I made myself pick an over. None of the board looks good, but we're going to go with that over. Uh, Vikings plus two at Philly. What we got going on in this game? Uh, I think it was a turnover for those of you just listening on Spotify and not watching on YouTube. Looked like Wolf was just fumbled on the 40. Going, 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 going. Okay, maybe he was down. All right, we might be good. All right, so uh, Vikings plus two at Philly. Uh, Philly came out with all the hype. They they lit it up against the Lions. Lions came back and actually covered at the end of the game. Uh, if you give the Vikings that opportunity late in the game, I think that um, you're not going to have a good day up here in Philly. Um, they have too many offensive weapons. We're going to back them, back them, back them, back them, back them. Uh, honorable mentions uh, for college and for NFL. We're going to start with college first. Honorable mention. South Carolina plus 24 and a half against Georgia. This line stinks. This line is so bad. 24 and a half points against Georgia. Why isn't this, why isn't it 50? Why isn't it 65? Georgia should absolutely smoke South Carolina. This is not a play. It's just an honorable mention, just food for thought. This is one of the most fade yourself games ever. This is one where you're like, oh, Georgia's only giving it 25? Psh, bet. I feel like the bookmakers are telling us something. I feel like they're screaming in our faces, you guys are gonna lose this game because everybody's gonna back Georgia. Give me South Carolina at home, plus 24 and a half. And, at, and Columbia's gonna be rocking, I get it. It makes no sense. Uh, Texas State plus 30 against Baylor. We still just don't think that Baylor is that good of a team. Um, we're just gonna leave it at that. We don't think Baylor's good giving a team 30 points. Texas Tech plus 10 at NC State. Texas Tech, um, so we, we took NC State uh, over uh, ECU and took the over in that game, and they burned us. They absolutely burned us. Um, we're going to back Texas Tech here. Well, we're not going to back Texas Tech. Honorable mention, might not be a bad, bad idea to, to back Texas Tech. Getting 10. Um, it's at NC State. It's on the road. Uh, like I said, Texas covered against Houston. That was a sloppy bad game. We're going to rely on some defense there. Um, honorable mention. Uh, honorable mention NFL. I'm going to do this a lot this year. Anytime you have an NFL team getting double digits, it's almost an auto bet. I mean, no matter – who it is, these guys are grown men, they're professional athletes, they compete in their position. Let me say this, any given time, the Bills can go out and put up 37 points against the Colts and uh, win 37 to 14, right? I mean, that's over a 20 point win. That's any given night they can do that. But giving that spread, to expect that result as a recipe for disaster. They're grown men. They're playing against other grown men. Even if the other grown man's a half step faster, you have to catch every ball, stop every play, get every tackle. I think the Titans are going to come up fired up for this game, man. Um, getting the team 10 points in the, in the league, man, it doesn't make any sense. Um, a couple other games that were on the radar, um, thought about them, didn't fall in love with them. Um, some West Coast games, Utah match 21 uh, at home against San Diego State. Got to look at that one. Um, Florida match 24, got a bounce back game against Florida. Uh, you definitely want to look at that one. The trappiest game of the weekend Washington minus three and a half um, at home 
Michigan State. This one also screams the public's going to bet it. Everybody's going to be on Michigan State. Michigan State's ranked number 11. They're going to see the number 11 symbol next to Michigan State's name. See no symbol next to Washington and think Michigan State's going to get in points. Let's take them. This is a tricky one, man. This actually might be a daily pick. The game's at 7.30. Um, that might be a daily pick. Uh, Oregon's playing this weekend. Uh, BYU, Oregon's minus three and a half after that absolute slaughter against Georgia. I'll never bet Oregon again. Never, ever, 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 ever bet in Oregon again. That was bad. Bo Nix, he had his full. You won't fool me twice. I would like to take BYU plus three and a half uh, in that spot. We're not going to put it on the card, but honorable mention. Um, that about wraps us up. I thought about the Colts and the Jags. Uh, Indy minus three in Jacksonville. I like Jacksonville, obviously, in that spot. Dolphins, Ravens. Um, that one was another potential over position for me. Uh, we know how good the Dolphins defense is. We don't know how good the Ravens defense is, obviously, playing against the Jets. Um, in week one, you don't really have to play much defense against the Jets. I like the Dolphins in this game. I feel like I'm showing a little bias, so we're not going to bet it. Uh, Dolphins plus three and a half could be a play. Um, 840 left in the first quarter. Florida stayed up on Louisville. We're going to watch the rest of this game. Um, season one. Episode 14, wrapping up. 20-minute uh, video, guys. you got tons of information. All you need, uh, like, subscribe, comment, hashtag, JobCross65. Pineapples don't go on pizza. Good luck, everybody.